Hey everybody, it's the Nerd John 71 here back again. Sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded another YouTube video. The last upload the last upload I um the last video I have uploaded uh, was some random fireworks festival I went to with my dad. I had to delete the video off my camera for to to save uh, memory. So I didn't want to just erase the I didn't want to erase it from my phone entirely and not have the footage. So I decided to upload the footage and then delete it off my uh, camera. So thank you all for watching the fireworks festival that I uploaded. I was with that with my dad. Thank you all for watching. I told my dad about it. He says thank you all for watching on my channel. So this is Awesome Funko Pops Collection Episode 2. As you can see, this is the channel mascot, Mr. Plow. He was in the last episode. So, um... Yeah, long story short, I just want to say I apologize for the two weeks um, delay of uploading this video. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. The first awesome Funko Pop of the video is... USA Homer. Now, I'm sorry for the lighting about this. I recently did admit on Twitter and um, Facebook that I sometimes... Sorry, I had to step away for a sec. That I sometimes record videos at 1 a.m. in the morning... Just because it's quiet and everybody's asleep and I can just have a, a background for to display the Funko Pops on. It says USA on his hat. This is from the episode titled, The Greatest Story Ever Told. That's the, that's the name of the episode. Got a nice little detailed strap in the back. And I'll zoom in here on the camera he's holding... The camera is nicely painted. For such a small Funko Pop, there's a lot of detail put into this. The camera is very nicely painted, as well as the shirt. His hat. So yeah, this one was a graduation present, for sure. I love him, definitely. What, hands down, one of the most awesome Homer Simpson Funko Pops ever made. Aside from the channel mascot, Mr. Plow, of course. I love all Homer Simpson Funko Pops. But just the fact that this comes from an episode that's funny as hell. Hell yeah. Definitely a hands down an awesome legendary Funko Pop in my collection. The next legendary awesome Funko Pop of today's video is... Witch Marge. From Easy Bake Cubbin. Yeah, this one's actually on a translucent base. As you can see. I'll actually zoom in here. For you guys, you could read that. You could pause the video for a second if you want to read that entirely. Matt Gronig, the legend himself. So, um, I am going to pause the video for a second. And I can, there's another way I can actually show her. But... Real quick here, side note, if you do have this Funko Pop, be very careful because this Funko Pop is known to break. Either from this, it's either known to break from the base or it's known to break right here. Mine broke. I had the super glue, like, there's a peg right here that goes right into the figure. It goes into the back of the figure and mine broke off. So I had to super glue mine back in. So I'm going to pause the video for a sec and show you another way you can display this in a video. One sec. This way, so you can see she's here. She is fully in frame. This is from the Trios of Horror episode from the 90s, Easy Bake Cubbin. I also have another character from this episode, Easy Bake Cubbin. Another, ca I do have another character from this episode, but you'll see that character in a future video. I'm not gonna say who it is, you'll have to see it in a future video. So, yeah, there's Witch Marge from Easy Bake Cubbin. And now the awesome, now the next awesome legendary Funko Pop of today's episode is Zombie Bart. This is just a regular Trios of Horror Funko Pop figure. It's not from any Trios of Horror episode in particular. It's just a regular ordinary Trios of Horror Funko Pop that happens to be Zombie Bart. Now there's a lot of awesome details I'm going to point out about this right off the back. I awesome look, look at the awesome detail of that the the tearing of the flesh around the skull I'll even zoom in on it here you can see 
I'll zoom in a bit there. Like, even, like, he's got the flesh ripped off the knee. His stomach's rotting there. You can see on the shirt. Here's the best part about the Funko Pop itself. This part right here on the side that's is gnarly. I love that. That's a, that's some uh, Walking Dead shit right there. This Funko Pop is still available on Amazon if you'd like to pick one up for yourself. Oops. I'll leave that in the video. Here's the underside of him. Sorry, my lighting just fell. <laughs> it says 2020. Hang on a second. Alright, sorry about that. Here's the underside of it, of the pop itself. 2020. It's got the legendary creator's name right there. Alright, so that is Zombie Bart. All right, and now the next awesome legendary Funko Pop of today's video is Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now, I'm going to be careful with this guy because he's very fragile, as you can see right there on one of the uh, torches, on one of the little uh, matches he's holding. I've had to glue this. Now, he is a glow-in-the-dark Funko Pop. As you can see, like, the fire and stuff is all supposed to glow in the dark, but it's not bright enough. Sadly, I, it's, it's just not bright enough to pick it up on camera. I will post a picture, though, however, on Twitter. If you want to see a picture of this in the dark, along with one of the other Funko Pops you're going to see later on in this video, I'll post a picture of what it looks like outside in the dark, so you can kind of see what it looks like glowing outside. Because the flames on this do glow in the dark. Now, like, comment, and subscribe if you saw this movie in theaters. Ghostbusters Afterlife was awesome. Oh, you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I got a picture of me holding this Funko Pop, which I will be posting soon. Because this is a Funko Pop that came with a t-shirt. I'll, I'll make the announcement when that, when that uh, picture will be posted. Alright, now the next awesome legendary Funko Pop of today's video is Jason Voorhees. Now, if you remember from the last episode, Freddy, I had Freddy Krueger. Now, this came in a three-pack, a pack of three. And shout out to my cousin Nicole because she got me these for my birthday. That can, it was a set of three, Jason being number one, Freddy was number two, and Michael Myers was number three. And of course, you'll see Michael Myers, Michael Myers in the next episode. LA3 also has this Funko Pop. He also has Freddy. Also got to get a Michael Myers. And also, I'm going to zoom in on this Funko Pop a bit for you. Now, I know that there's multiple Jason Funko Pops out there. And I know that there's also multiple Freddy Kruegers. I'll do future videos on them when I collect them one day. Look at the detail on the machete. And unfortunately, I do see um, a lot of these Funko Pops... The sad thing is with this Jason here, he's prone to breaking right here because this is just thin plastic on the machete. Nonetheless, though, he is an awesome detailed Funko Pop. Alright, now the last awesome legendary Funko Pop of today's video is... Kevin, the Minion. Now this is from Despicable Me. Uh, obviously, well, this is actually from Minions, The Rise of Gru, according to the box. This is a Funko Pop that my mom got me for gradu for uh, graduation. I think, yeah, high school grad, yeah, it was around my high school graduation. She got me this one as a, as a present. I really do like this one. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the newer Despicable Me movies, I am happy she got me this Funko Pop nonetheless. I do love the Minions. They are pretty dope. They kind of look like evil Twinkies if you ask me. Now, Kevin here is a Minion that... He's a pop that actually glows in the dark. Sadly, it's not bright enough for my camera to pick it up. But um, just like the um, Ghostbusters Funko Pop guy... Follow me on Twitter because I will be posting a vid... I will post a picture of what this guy looks like... Looks like glowing in the dark outside, alongside the um, Ghostbusters Funko Pop. 
And if I collect any other characters from this set, I will make an update video in the future. That is all for today's episode of Awesome Legendary Funko Pop Collections. Thank you all very much for watching. Look out for more awesome videos coming soon. Look out for more channel update videos coming soon also. And look out for more funny playlists coming soon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content coming soon. Thank you all for watching. Bye.